Good morning, everybody. Welcome to episode three of the Living Room Makeover. Ah, hopefully this one won't be all painting, but there is still some painting. <laughs> Let me show you the plan of the attack for today. So today we will be cleaning the existing couches that we already have. And I noticed there's like some gross stuff on there. He said it's gonna take about an hour and a half. Hopefully he won't mind me filming him. See what he's uh, gonna be up to. So hopefully these will be so much better anyways. So on this carpet, he was saying that it's quite badly worn. You can see where their tables and stuff would have been compared to the walking area. But I'm gonna get it cleaned anyways. I think it might still have some life in it. We'll see how it looks. You know what I like though is that when there was the opportunity to let me know that it might not turn out like magically new, they made sure to let me know. So I had the opportunity to make the choice, of course, and not just be left with uh, a carpet that's still worn because cleaning doesn't make it any less worn, just cleaner. So I do appreciate that they were honest about that and upfront. <laughs> It feels cleaner. <laughs> Looks like a beautiful day outside. It is minus 25 degrees Celsius if you want to look that up. It's cold. The only painting happening today is the trim around the window. Maybe I'll get to that door in that window as well. And the baseboards. So that will be all white and this. Well, they sent this gigantic tow truck to put the car in the garage. That happened today. All right, I thought I'd show you my so professional setup. Plus I was forgetting to film, so there's that. Uh, I'm just using a Tupperware container full of paint and my little Wooster edging brush. But this is just a, uh, I, I was painting yesterday, not today. So this is all dry. Um, it's just a table, what is this? Placemat from the dollar store. And I'm shoving it under my baseboard so that I can paint up against it. So I'm just gonna make sure that that's not peeling off before I say, uh, you know, before I get started and get like dry paint stuck on my thing. But so far you can already see it's making a huge difference with the blue. I think it looks way better. Okay, let's get going. More painting. I can already see the other areas did as well. It ends up turning out really well. So while this is dry, off to the window.
Oh, it's sunny. <laughs> it's cold, but it's sunny. No matter what, Chewy will find the sunshine. Hey, Chewy. Hold on, let me, let me see his little face. Oh, did you find the sunshine? So this is the first coat. First coat's going on really rough, so I'm considering maybe foam rolling this for the second coat as well, like on top of the brushing. So we'll see. Again, I'm guessing and really have no clue. All right, so I got this little ledge painted. All the baseboards, oh, you can't even see it. All the baseboards, that's the curtain rod hanging out on the floor. I got the trim around the whole window done. This took a long time. <laughs> it's me, mind you, it does take me a long time. So next step, we're gonna get rid of this carpet. I'm gonna roll it up and bring the one from downstairs. It should be dry, so, all right. needs to be dealt with. Oh, I think that's good for today. I'm going to, um, next step will be everything to do with the piano, and on top of the piano. Figuring out this space. Baby, what are you laying down? <laughs> there is sticky puppy. Mine will probably be too. Chewy? This carpet works better and it's much bigger. Oh, and the curtains need to be done. Well, that's gonna happen. Hi everyone, thanks for joining me again for today's adventure. I, it is already the afternoon, so I thought I would do a, I would say a day in the life, but it's already three o'clock. It's, it's been a, a bit of a lazier day today, believe it or not. And uh, I'm not feeling very productive, so I wrote down uh, what it is that I'd like to accomplish today. I need to, I need to get that video uploaded today, so I made my little list. And I'd also like to share that recipe with you. We ran out of eggs, otherwise it would already be up. <laughs> so, groceries is in the books. I, I just want to mention, I looked for the best lighting in my lower area, and I just noticed now that what one was a plant sticking out of the side, but better yet, my washcloth hanging to dry on this chair. It's staying. <laughs> so let's see what we have on the agenda today. We have, uh, I wanna make sure to, oh, I need to still repaint the window and ledge. So it's not really part of the redecorating series. I noticed as I was sitting that there are some spots that for some reason the paint is not taking to very well on the window ledge. I'm looking at it. <laughs> of course I am. <laughs> And also the same on the ledge in the back. So that's happening because I love painting so much. <laughs> Just need a break from painting, I think, until tomorrow and then everything will be good. Um, we also need to do some editing on that video, get it uploaded. Need to fold some laundry. I don't think I need to bring you along for that. You can imagine what it looks like. Uh, we need to go to get groceries. And I found when I was cleaning a Starbucks card. So you better believe I'm going to go get myself a... Uh, caramel macchiato. For those of you that drink Starbucks, I know there's a lot that think it's too strong. Uh, what is your drink of choice? For me, mine is a Vente caramel macchiato with a single shot because I can't handle that much caffeine. Don't get me wrong, I like my caffeine, but those two shots in there makes my heart feel like it's gonna explode. So one is more than enough. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite is. This is reality right now. Uh, that's the birthday bag. <laughs> that needs to go downstairs, obviously. But I have a little touch-up paint. I keep in the containers. There's a touch-up paint in here for the blue and a touch-up paint in here for the white. I dumped, I thought, most of that out. So that way I don't have to keep on dealing with the big things, the paint. All my tools and stuff are underneath. And the paint, I try to keep it all in a box so that it doesn't get all over the place. So tip number one. Maybe not the best tip, but still a tip. Well, first I'll have to move these paintings because I'm sure that'll go well for me. But look, 
against the side, the paint has kind of pulled away. I did sand it a bit because there's the old paint was peeling off from before. So I thought I could get that down. So this is just kind of more of a quick fix, I think, more than anything. There's two coats on this though, and you can see close up, it kind of almost looks like curdling, which is just, you know, that's for sure the look I was looking for. And also on the edges, of course. So let me get this out of the way, move my couch out of the way because, you know, that bad things will happen. Okay, I really didn't want brush marks and you can see the brush marks in it, but I'm not sure which is worse, brush marks or being able to see the, the board underneath. Either way, the roller for some reason is pulling the paint off, which is driving me crazy. And it's funny, I dripped some paint and I was frantically trying to scrub it off, but this wall is gonna be painted, so there's that. <laughs> Yeah, that hopefully while it dries, it settles down a little bit and isn't so. Joey, please, I'm vlogging. <laughs> yes? What would you like, Chewy? What do you need? What do you need? What do you need? Chewy, oh, we beat you to our brother. <laughs> now for the window. Oh. Maybe it'll be okay. Okay. Fingers crossed, I'm gonna be positive. It's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> All right, it's hard to see because it is dark. Oh, no, that didn't even really help. Okay, hold on, let's see if you can see. The paint, I think the brush was the key. This is bright white and my lighting is making it look yellow, but just trust me. <laughs> the brush for sure, oh, I thought that was touching, that's wet. I crammed it between here and here. This is not the best set up for painting with a brush. But I'm pleasantly surprised. I don't know if you guys can see, it's still wet. Now you can't see. Brush marks just melted in. So I worried about brush marks for nothing. I think that what happened on, I don't think there was, oh, there's paint all over my hand. I hope I didn't touch. I'm, I'm wearing my paint pants, but somehow I just noticed that I am wearing my regular shirt. So here's hoping that I didn't get covered in paint. <laughs> there's a good chance I did. <laughs> But uh, now I don't remember what I was saying. Now I remember. I, th I don't think there was a coating on here that was making it pull away. I think it's because I tried to do the different finish. It was supposed to be a smoother finish with the foam roller, but I feel like it must've just pulled more paint off than left on. So that's my only guess. Maybe it was a finish, but either way, either way, it's done now. Cross my fingers, it dries properly. I'll check after it's dried, but it already looks it looks better. I was gonna say a million times better, but it looks better. Who knows what we're gonna end up with, but, but it's white. We got white. Uh, I gotta stop procrastinating and off to the store. So I picked up one of these meal kits. I ended up using these for preschool. There's three sections, so it's a chicken teriyaki stir fry. So that's happening. Mm -mm, chicken. And eggs and strawberries and coffee, and milk, but it's in the fridge, and butter, because I completely didn't have eggs for a recipe, so this has to happen tonight. Okay, shh, Chewy, it's okay. I gave Abigail some chocolate. Just hold on. It's unsweet. <laughs> oh, it's unsweetened bacon <laughs> I said, are you sure this chunk isn't too big? I didn't even eat it all. She only had a little bite. What's happening over here, Abby? It's not just chocolate. <laughs> oh my goodness. Chewy uh, uh, does the <laughs> Are you making me? Are you? <laughs> and my teeth. Abigail, are you licking my towel? Are you licking my towel? Uh, no, I was <laughs> going to. Chewy, shh. My couch. Wait. Oh. Oh, I wasn't filming. <laughs> you weren't filming that whole thing? Oh. Oh. How was the chocolate? It was delicious. I'll eat the whole bar later. <laughs> later. Did you give her Baker's chocolate? Yeah, I gave her Baker's chocolate. Don't videotape me. I heard Abigail's reaction. I'm not going to try it anyway. Pop the whole thing in. Does it taste good? Mm-hmm. You lied. Does it taste delicious? 
But the best thing you ever ate. You want a big piece? No, I'm fine. Here, can I have, have, do you want a bar? No. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. I mean, I, I, I just spent it in my sink. Go in the other one. You might have some chocolate. Hey everyone, from the editing desk again I come. <laughs> so I think, I think I know, I know. I'm gonna stop the vlog here. I do have a lot more footage of everything that was done downstairs. So I'm gonna make that into another video and also submit that this week. But that way you have a break. You have the option to feel like you finished the whole video rather than watching it all in one. So this part will be done and then you'll have to see I'm not sure what's in the next video. Oh, first, that recipe failed. <laughs> it was like a chocolate custard. I was so proud of myself. I have all this footage of cooking, but at the end it didn't set. I didn't cook the eggs long enough. So that happened. It was a learning experience. And now we're back out of eggs, so I didn't try it again. <laughs> but I'm gonna have to. So I guess I ended it with tormenting the kids. We cooked that whole time and they didn't even get a chocolate dessert in the end of all that, so. My poor children, that's all right. I think I think they know they're loved. Thank you guys for coming along on this journey. And thank you so much for, you know what, writing me and saying, hey, where's your video? Because that means you actually are interested in seeing what I'm doing, which means a lot. Thank you all very much. Take care, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.